Well, good morning, kids. Good morning, saints in the congregation. I'm here in my kitchen, and、uh, you know, I'm thinking about what happens when you get injured, and、uh, your mom or your dad, maybe your grandma, or your grandpa, want to take care of you. Not not seriously injured, like you have to go to the doctor or the hospital, but just some kind of injury around the house. And what are the things you use to help make sure you get better? Let's look. All right, so I have my handy Johnson and Johnson first aid kit. Let's open it up and see what we find inside. Well, you got your band aids or your bandages, always important. But before bandages, we need to get. Where is it? Here it is. This one is Neosporin, but it's some kind of uh, uh, antibiotic ointment. And so, actually, there's something else first. Here's some moist towelettes.、Uh, so you can use this to clean off. Like, say you have a cut on your hand, you clean off the wound with the moist towelette. Then you add the antibiotic ointment. Then you add the bandage. Now, sometimes there's a wound that's bigger than just a small band aid. And so you need a little bit more.、Um, you can get the larger bandages, or there's even some gauze. Let's see if I have some of that. Oh, look at this bandaid. That one's huge.、Um, it looks like I'm out of gauze. Oh, here is a、um, survival wrap. So if you're out in the desert and you can't find your way home. Uh, this and you have to sleep in the night. This、uh, survival wrap is like a thermal blanket, and it will help you、um, stay warm. Got a light stick、uh, in case something happens and you're out on the road at night. Got a instant cold pack. You have to smack it, and then it becomes like ice because if you、uh, tw twist your ankle or have some kind of injury where your body parts swell up, and then this helps keep it cold. Um, what else do we have here? Ooh, anti-itch cream in case you get stung by a bee or bit by some bugs.、Uh, got some pain relievers, Motrin and Tylenol and Advil.、Uh, got a tongue depressor in case.、Uh, God, why do you even use tongue depressors these days? Anyway, there is that. And then we have this thing. It's an iPad compress. So, in case you have an injury to your eye, you can put this over your eye to keep it safe.、Uh, I'm going to come back to this in just a minute. Ooh, we got these wound closures as well too. This is in case you have a really big cut and you need,、um, kind of like you need stitches, but you can use these to help keep it, keep your skin closed so it heals. But I'm going to go back to this eye compress. That reminds me of a story in today's Bible. So in the Bible story today, Jesus and his disciples they're walking along and they see a man that was blind. And、uh, the disciples ask, "Boy, what did he do wrong to get blind?" And Jesus is like, "He didn't do anything wrong. He was just born that way."、Uh, but you know what? I think there's something that I can do to help. Okay, so I had to come out for the second part of the story. Jesus didn't have a first aid kit, but what he did have was some dirt and some spit. <laughs> And then what he did was he mixed the spit in with the mud, super cool. And then he took it and he wiped it on the eyes of the man that was blind. And guess what he said, dude? You got to wash your eyes. <laughs> I mean, probably didn't say dude, but he said you have to go wash your eyes in this special pool. And he went down and he washed his eyes in the pool. And when he got the mud and spit and dirt out of his eyes, he could see. Like he had been blind his whole life, and suddenly he was able to see. It was amazing. It was a miracle. He was so happy, and Jesus said, "God loves you. Go in peace." Now I'm not saying you should go spit on the ground and make a little mud pie and rub dirt in your eyes or on a wound anytime you get、uh, a cut, because that's not going to happen. I mean, unless you're Jesus, then maybe it could, you know, make it better. But the cool thing is that. Jesus knows when people are hurt and sick, and He wants us to get better. He doesn't want us to be sick and hurt, and and so He does. 
He gives us doctors and parents and medicine and sometimes miracles, all kinds of things to help make us better because that's how God wants us to be. Sound like a good story? I love it. Let us pray. God, we thank you so much for the many ways you take care of us and you heal us, our bodies and our spirits. Thank you for our parents and our grandparents. Thank you for doctors and nurses, for all the people that work to help bring healing to our bodies. We pray for anyone who is sick today. We pray for those who might be blind. We thank you for the great story about Jesus healing the man that was blind. And we ask that you continue to keep us healthy and in your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. See you next week. So I've been working on my doctoring skills with Milo and with Hope. What do you think?